Alright, let's check out some Game Boy Color on the analog. Here we go. Virgin! That Virgin's not that bad. So, I guess Capcom outsourced this, so... Uh... Oh, okay, that helps. Let's, let's set up. Oh man, let's turbo this motherfucker. <laughs> uh, how many characters? Wow, I think we actually have every character from Street Fighter Alpha 1. Because I'm, I think Bison you have to unlock. I don't think I'm missing anyone. We even, do we got Birdie? Yeah, Birdie's here, and so so the bigger characters are here, too. Weird. Let's go with... Adolf! Let's see how this holds up. Oh, man, it, the level's nice. We're actually able to get that going. No voices, though. Sadly, I guess I gotta add it myself. Hadouken! Shoryuken! Shinku! Oh, damn it. There it is. Oh, but I did the... I gotta do the normal. Alright, so if you tap the button, it's a we it's the jab, but there's no way to do mediums. You gotta only do fierce and jab, it seems. Which I guess, I mean, you know, you're limited to two buttons. Select taunts, apparently, so that's cool. Yeah, alright. Yeah, so... But you can't do, like, it's either fierce or meat or light. That means I can't do low forward super. <laughs> oh, you're fucked now. I don't know how to make it like the level two with Shinku, so I have no clue. Winner, Ryul. China. Dun 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 dun. Dun 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 I don't have an overhead, do I? I mean, I'll... It's so amazing. <laughs> I wonder what Killer Instinct... I wonder what Killer Instinct is like on the Game Boy. <laughs> like, that has to be awesome, too. Shinku, I'm open! Hey, ho! Perfect! I like this Great Wall of China level. I, I really like Street Fighter Alpha 1. I know some people didn't like it, but I, I loved it. It's not the best Alpha, though. I still think 2's the best. Or at least, uh, Gold. 2 Gold that was only released in, like, Japan on the Sega Saturn, sadly. I think it has Kami in it. Spinning Burn Kick! Yoken! Yoken! Hadoken! Shinku! Oh, shit, I think! Oh, Super Shinku Tatsubaki, whatever! Yeah, chip her out! You know what? I, I kind of would have liked this on the Game Boy Color. But I don't think there's any way to play it. Like, there's no way to link up a Game Boy Color and another Game Boy Color to do verses, so it's like... Like, I don't see the point. You know, it's a fighting game that you can never play with another player. Then again, I had Fatal Fury Special on the Game Gear, so who the fuck am I to talk? You're not dizzy? Tonic Boom! 
Smash you! Oh, oh, you can do the roll get up? Kind of, I'm kind of impressed how much... I, I, I wonder if alpha counters are in this. I haven't attempted an alpha counter. I think in Street Fighter Alpha 1, uh, you had to do the motion, but it had to be a specific button, whereas in Alpha 2, it could be both punch or kick, depending. You had two different alpha counters. I'm going to attempt an alpha counter once I get enough uh, meter. Counters. Oh, look out! Look out! Hey, oh! You quit. <coughs> Rose, Italy! It's just the Colosseum, right? Yeah. Oh, there's the cat. They even added the cat. Nice touch. Rogan. Rogan! Yeah, take this. Yeah, can't confirm any super. How come her scarf is affected by the wind, yet my uh, bandana isn't? Soul Spark! King Cool Hanorgan! That's a King Cool! That's a thingy! Yeah, there you go. Fights in those heels. There we go, it's the ducking fierce fireball combo. That should like dizzier. I have no idea how to do multiple levels with my super, just like one level of it. I'm holding down the button. Maybe I gotta press it a bunch of times. Birdie. These are pretty good 8-bit versions of the characters, I gotta say. And the combat feels... I mean, for Game Boy Color, this isn't bad. Like... I, in fact, I almost feel like someone should have hacked this and put it on the NES, or the Master System or something. Oh damn, his birdie throw looks weird in the 8-bit version. Maybe it needs to be level three. Let's let's power up the meter to level three. Oh shit! Oh, you could. All right, max. Okay, here we go. Let's see. Let's see if I can do a level three super. Oh, okay. So it automatically does a level three super when it's at level three. It just won't do a level two super. So, and I guess when it's a level three, you can't select for it to just be one. Little loss of control there. Oh, that combo, that three hitter. Jinku! Harogan! Hey, oh! You must defeat my dragon punch to stand a chance. This guy, his portrait looks terrible on that screen. Oh, it's Ryu's stage. There's a Sun Song store. Oh, I'm gonna be a family man. What's up, Max Power? How you doing? Look at that. Those combos. He's dizzy, man. He's gone. Oh, Shoryuken! I'm gonna chip him. Shoryuken! Too much. 
Oh, aircraft, damn! I can't air juggle him, this isn't third strike. That would have been fucking sweet. Okay, I gotta wait for it. I really wanna hit him with the level 3 super fireball. But I gotta make sure it connects. Okay, it's the same splash screen as if I do the normal, just level one fireball, all right. Ken! We're in New Orleans. Oh man, the Ken theme. Maybe I should play this on like a higher difficulty. Then again, knowing Street Fighter, as soon as you play it on a higher difficulty, the game becomes nearly impossible. Like, you have to know the AI, like, how to really mess with the AI to get it to do what you want it to do. Like, because basically it knows the buttons you're pressing, and then it knows the moves you're doing, and it just screws you because it knows you're in an animation. Show, show you rap off! Uh, oh, Ken might actually get a round off. No, it wasn't the. It's Satsubaki! Oh my god, he did! Wow, I'm blown away! See, I think single player AI needs to be a lot better in fighting games. Like, it's not that it's not good, it's just that it cheats when you put it on high difficulty. And I think that's why a lot of people kind of get turned off on fighting games. Because to them it just seems all random, you know, like... Like, either the guy blocks or he doesn't block. Like, they don't get into that nuance that a fighting game actually has when you play against real people. Where it's like, oh god. Where it's more like, um, a very heavy game of rock, paper, scissors. Where you're always trying to, like, do different moves just to mess with them. The one game that I've seen recently that has amazing... Like, it, like, when I say amazing, I, I mean it. It blows my mind. Like, fighting game AI is killer instinct. Because it, it, it has that learning adaptive AI where, like, you can fight other players like Shadows and they'll fight similar to an actual person. And I, I kind of feel like every fighting game should have that now. That's, that should be, like, the standard. And then I think fighting games should become more popular again. Because, let's face it, the majority of people, despite what a lot of people think, the majority of people play games single-player. They don't, they don't play games multiplayer. And in some countries, they, they can't even do it. Like, it's either their internet's too slow, or it's like, you know, like, let's say you live in Australia, right? You, try to play anybody in any other country, your fucking lag is gonna be awful. Like, just flat out terrible. Like, you're basically stuck playing Japanese players, and even then, it's bad. Bullshit, man! One thing that I should have punished him harder when he missed that up. But it doesn't do much damage. Did you see that kick? How'd that kick land? The one that I did? I was expecting it to. 
full. I'm not gonna lose to Sagat, man. Oh god. Oh, thank goodness. I thought I pressed the button. I'm not trying to do the hurricane. I'm actually trying to do that. Fuck. I'm amazed. There goes my perfect run. Alright, I press kick. Let's see if I have another color. Nope, oh, same color. Alright, now that I actually have to try, I got some complaints about the controls. First off, every time you see me do that hurricane, I'm not trying to do the hurricane. I'm just trying to duck and do low roundhouse. So it's like, I don't... And then, of course, how was I able to punch him from that distance? The hitboxes are a little silly. Yeah, see, I'm not... I'm trying to hold back and block after I do a kick, but he just immediately does hurricane. I'm not even doing the quarter circle thing. Yeah, I'm, I'm pressing back the block and then I want to throw a roundhouse, but then he does hurricane for some reason. There we go. Shit, he got me with his. Oh, his does work. Well, he might have did a level three. Tiger, tiger, tiger uppercut, tiger uppercut, tiger uppercut. Shoryuken. Oh wait, no, that's that's just fireball. I'm sorry. Hadouken. No, that was damn it. Got my moves mixed up. That's what happened. out of his tiger uppercut. Oh, fuck. Jinku Adogan! It's not even worth doing it. It doesn't do enough damage. Might as well save it up to, like, level 3. Okay, so now that I'm actually being challenged, I am noticing, like, some problems in the controls. Because before it was like, fuck it, right? But now it's like, no, I need the controls to be accurate. And I'm really struggling not to, like, do hurricane kicks. Like, I'm trying to make sure I just press down instead of down back. Because I'm so used to pressing down back so that, like, when I do the kick, I'm, I'm in my blocking animation. Look at that! One move, he does that much damage? Bullshit! No! I didn't want to do Hurricane, goddammit! I wanted to do Ducking Roundhouse! There we go. There, yeah, perfect. Thank God he didn't do hurricane. I really have to like stop my instinct of pressing back. Like instead of instead of doing down back, you just press down. Because every time I press down back, he does fucking hurricane for some reason. Trying to get your auto block? He did a cross-up! 
I can't even do my cross up. I, I don't have a medium kick. Oh shit. too good of a defense. I'm trying to get him into doing fireballs so I can jump and kick him. I was supposed to be fireball. Oh my god, now, now my moves aren't coming out. Now he's just spamming me. And there's that hurricane I didn't want to do. <laughs> Because why would I want- Oh, again, it does it again. I don't want to do it. So I think there's some kind of auto, um, like, calculation on the moves to make it easier to do the moves, but what, what's really happening is it's fucking me over, because I'm not- I don't even press back. I'm, I'm just pressing down and back, diagonal down and back, but it'll do the hurricane sometimes. I've never encountered this problem, like, in any home port, like the Saturn, Super Nintendo, Genesis. But I'm seeing it here, and it's it's kind of annoying the shit out of me. Because <laughs> why would I want to do the hurricane, you know, like, it'll just... It's a really risky-ass move, unless I really think it's gonna hit or I want to chip him. Uh, I gotta be aggressive, fuck this. I didn't want to do actually got me out of trouble there. Fuck! I hate this shit. I hate it when it's like the whole game is easy and then you get to the last boss and you just want to see the ending, you know what I mean? But then you end up having to fight the last boss a hundred times and it's just such bullshit. It's like, what the fuck? And he's such a coward. He just kind of hangs out, never attacks, you know? just keeps backing up, so that means you have to make the first move, and because it's the AI, it'll immediately counter. As soon as I jump, he'll do the fucking attack. I gotta get him while he's throwing the fireball. I can kick him out of his uppercut, which is fucked up, but I'll take it. Keep thinking he's gonna land behind me too when he when I block it. So when I when I uh, block one of his uppercuts and he lands, I should do like a punch combo in the uppercut. I 
want to do that. Oh, why would I do the fucking hurricane? I want to do ducking. I can't believe this. I had him too. If, all, if the ducking roundhouse would have came out, it would have got him. I'm, instead of doing a normal move, he keeps doing like special moves. Alright, he should be. I, I love these cutscenes. It makes it look like Ryu's saying this. Ryu ignores him. Ryu feels empty and very upset. You rage quit! Sayonara, is that it? You are great. One more thing. A true warrior fights with skill, not anger. Oh bullshit, Ryu! <laughs> Ryu leaves Sagat behind. You know what would be great is if I could see this instead of just Ryu. You know, like... <laughs> oh, published in Europe, eh? S Sagat's, like, really hard, man. Stares super hard. Mm. Overall, it's a good port. I mean, I guess for the Game Boy Color. Again, my big problem is... It automatically does moves. And I haven't done the input. Like, how is that possible? Roy Gay, what a name. The BAM team? Who's the BAM team? Inner initials? Oh, I love the Z. Let's, let's just, there we go. The BAM team. So, wait, Nintendo licensed it? Or did they publish it? I mean, Capcom had, definitely had something to do with it. 